Obviously, John Mulaney, that was a given you would call yourself this. And, and, yeah. Uh, but the Sack Lunch Bunch, where'd you come up with that? The Sack Lunch Bunch? Um, I wanted, like, a name of, like, a groovy old, like, uh, name, like, in the 70s, you know, there'd be shows that were, like, you know, the Scrapyard Gang and stuff. <laughs> and uh, I wanted to call it the Latchkey Kids, because, uh, do you remember that term? Yes. That's, like, I, I was, like, a Latchkey Kid, I guess, because my parents had jobs, so we'd come home, you know? And uh, we'd watch TV, and, and we'd enjoy it. Uh, <laughs> And on the news, they'd be like, latchkey kids, it's a terrible thing. And we'd be like, no, it's not. <laughs> um, and then sack lunch bunch, you know, uh, two words of it rhyme. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Not a lot of science to it. <laughs> you, uh, there are so many uh, wonderful songs in this. Yes, uh, wonderful composer with, Eli Bolin. Eli Bolin, yeah. Yeah, who uh, we worked with on uh, Documentary, Documentary Now. Documentary Now, he's fantastic. We've written songs together before. Uh, you wrote an Emmy award We, we won song. an Emmy. We wrote a song with Justin Timberlake, and yeah. we won an Emmy. Now, question. Yes. Okay. We wanted, okay, so uh, the song was a monologue song yep. uh, for Justin Timberlake. On the ballot of the Emmys, it said Justin Timberlake's song. Yeah. Then below it was the much more popular Mother Lover <laughs> yeah. by The Lonely Island. Yeah. With Justin Timberlake and Andy Samberg. Yeah. But, it, but ours was called the Justin Timberlake <laughs> song. And, I, and we won. Yeah. I've always wondered, do you think people thought that that was... The Lonely Island song. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's like those weird, like when they have like Palm Beach, Florida, and they show you the ballots, and you're like, oh, that was way too confusing. Yeah. It was like Justin Timberlake's song, Mother Lover, and you're like, I like that one with Justin Timberlake. Uh, this has so many. Um, Grandmother's Boyfriend is a fantastic song. Oh, Grandma's Boyfriend Paul. Thank you. Yeah, Grandma's yeah. Boyfriend Paul. There's a song called uh, Noodles and a Little Bit of Butter. A plain Plate of Noodles. Yeah. 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 Uh, Do Flowers Exist at Night? Do Flowers Exist at Night, um, I wrote on the subway. Uh, the lyrics, I have no musical ability. Um, and it was based on, I mean, it was, the, the lyrics are exactly the process I went through as a kid. I couldn't picture a flower at night. <laughs> and if I'm to be honest with you, I can't now. <laughs> like, can yeah. you picture one at night? No, I guess not. Yeah. yeah. So I would lay in bed, and uh, the lyrics are, do flowers exist at night? Do flowers exist at night? <laughs> Uh, I keep meaning to check, but I always forget <laughs> to see if flowers exist tonight. And I remember laying in bed once when I was like nine, and I was like, I forgot to look again. Because <laughs> we had like a couple tulips in front of our house. Yeah. I was going to go see what they were doing. <laughs> did the kids ever, I mean, uh, like, did they behave on set? Uh... No, but <laughs> n n they did. Like, um, people, my friend who's a pediatrician and a vet, he says, never work with children and animals. Uh, Thanks. And, <laughs> and, like, we can cut that out, right? But, uh, <laughs> you know my friend? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ki uh, Kitty McPooch. Kitty the, McPooch. Yeah. The, Do uh, Dr. Kitty McPooch. Dr. Yes. Ki yeah, yeah, thank yeah. you. Very, Dr. McPooch. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's, uh, he he's treats a, kids and animals. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. why his name from birth was Kitty McPooch. And if, when a guy like that says don't work with kids and yeah, animals. Yeah, but I don't listen to him. <laughs> so, 15 kids are great. They really psych each other up. They were very supportive of each other. Yeah. They like, you know, some kids might have a bigger part in one scene than the other. And they'd all be like, you were great, you know? And in many ways, like more, a little more mature than like people we worked with at Saturday Night Live. Yes. Yeah. So that sounds a lot nicer than yeah. our, and we liked each other, but you still. Oh, yeah. yeah. But it'd be like, oh, that was yours? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but. There were 15 of them, and they would get really, like, riled up. You know when they do the clapboard and they go, like, Apple Mark? They would yell, like, Baker Mark, Charlie Mark. <laughs> and this one girl every time would go, Toilet Mark. And they, and I know it's not funny, but if you heard it 900 times, you'd start laughing a lot. <laughs> and so Reese Thomas, our wonderful director, who's, a ver who's, like, who's worked with every host of SNL. Yes. He's worked with everyone. He's been under pressure many times. Uh, one day, they were just so like out of their minds and uh, Reese ran up to them and they were just all talking at once and he went, do you behave in school like this? And one girl went, we don't go to school. <laughs> uh, you have, like I mentioned, some great guys. Richard Kind, who's one of our favorite people yep. in the world. Yep. Uh, there was someone else you wanted to get. Uh, yeah. Well, and, and this would be who kids today would want to see This the most. is what I thought would be a real crowd pleaser, was I wanted uh, former presidential candidate Michael Dukakis <laughs> to be in it. He would, like, when I was six, he was, like, one of the two most famous people in the world. 
Uh, but what was, I wanted him to come on and go, uh, John, I think I got one of your letters by mistake, you know? And then the, I'd go, hey, everyone, it's Michael Dukakis. And the kids would cheer for 30 seconds straight. <laughs> And uh, I, he, I, he's teaching at the moment, I guess. And uh, he said, can I, can I see a script? And I wasn't done with it. So I was like, you don't get a script, you know? Because <laughs> I was always, like, delaying. Uh, so uh, we didn't get Dukakis this time around. Yeah. Yeah. The kids, kids, I think, will still enjoy it. Uh, I think so. Yeah. Never have we forgot about a dude more. <laughs> than Michael Dukakis? Ever, I mean, like, a, 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 well, not half, but Clinton, almost half of America wanted him to be the president yeah. of the United States. And then, we and then he him. lost, and they were like, get the hell out of here. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, when I think about him, I think about him in that, uh, riding, driving that tank. Yeah, he rode a tank with a helmet on. Yeah. And that, I guess. And then somehow that was bad. Yeah. Because the other guys used it against him. Yeah, they were like, look at this idiot. You know, like, <laughs> you can make anyone look bad if you go, look at this idiot, and then show a, <laughs> a clip of them. And, yeah, uh, I mean, like, I mean, right now, just, I don't want you to take this the wrong way, but if you were to run for president right now, there's so many things in the sackcloth oh. lunch bunch that would just sink you right away. Or just take the pediatrician <laughs> vet joke <laughs> and do it in slow motion, go, look at this idiot. And go, like, my friend's a pediatrician. <laughs> And you'd win. I'd still, I'd still vote for you, Dominic.